Did you know that the easiest way to sabotage your audition is to have a bad slate? It immediately gets your audition off on the wrong foot. So how can we fix this? What can we do to make sure our slates work for us instead of against us? I'll talk about that in just a sec. Hey guys, it's Kurt from smallmarketactor.com. In this video, I'll talk about the importance of having a good slate as well as the steps you can take to make sure your slate stands out from the rest. You know, a lot of people don't give much thought to the slate. They don't even view it as part of the audition. They're thinking, oh well, I'm just saying my name and my agency, how hard can that be? Well, it's not that hard. It's actually quite simple, but that doesn't diminish the importance of it. Your slate is your first impression. It's the first time the people making the casting decision will be seeing you on camera. Now, you may be asking, the slate has nothing to do with my acting ability, so why does it matter? Well, the truth is, casting decisions are never made based on acting ability alone. A number of factors play into it, and one of the big ones is whether or not the director sees you as somebody they would like to work with. So, it's a good idea to at least put some thought into how you want your first impression to be perceived. And take a look at this example slate. Kurt, yeah, tofu talent. Does that seem like a person that you'd enjoy being around? Not particularly. He doesn't even look happy to be at the audition. He probably spends his spare time punching babies. <laughs> so, what is missing? Personality. A great slate shows them that the person behind the actor is a likable human being who's relaxed and confident on camera. And the best way to convey all of those things is by adding a warm, friendly smile. A slate with a smile immediately makes it 10 times better. But you need to make sure it's a genuine smile, not some fake high school yearbook smile. Fake smiles look like nervous smiles. What we want is a relaxed and confident smile. So if you're new to this and still feel a bit awkward talking and smiling to the camera, don't worry, you'll get better with practice. For now, try picturing your best friend's face right where the camera lens is and imagine talking to him or her. This will help you establish a personal connection with the camera through your eyes so that whoever's watching the video feels like you're actually talking to them. Hi, I'm Kurt Yue with Tofu Talent. Relaxed, confident, and likable much better. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below.